Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another plan with me and I'm so, so excited to be using my bullet journal for monthly and weekly spreads for the first time. If you have not seen my bullet journal setup video, I will go ahead and link it in a card above. Um, but anyway, to get started for this month, I decided to go with like a really cool summer theme. Um, Justin actually has an affinity for pineapples, so I thought that this was very fitting. Um, I found like a lot of images of pineapples with sunglasses on on Pinterest and stuff, and I just thought it was a really cute idea and something that wasn't too difficult for me to draw as I am not an artist whatsoever. But anyway, as you guys are watching, you guys can probably faintly tell that I did go over this with pencil first, and again, I am not an artist whatsoever, and that's why I did that. So what I'm doing now is I'm putting the words July in the sunglasses. <laughs> I think I'm obsessed with July right now because my due date is so close. I'm set to give birth on July 13th, so I think I've just had July on the on the mind. Um, I did notice as soon as I finished the Y that I was obviously doing the wrong month and I will go back and fix it, but I just thought I would mention that. So next I'm using my Tombow dual brush pens. I'm using them in the color 173 and 133 to create different you know color dimensions on like that top plant part of the pineapple if that makes sense and honestly coloring it in to read June this way was like the best solution that I could think of I mean I'd already gone through it with black marker like there was no way I was gonna be able to erase that but all in all I think it came out okay and then to just kind of highlight, you know, the yellow lines and things like that, so I'm using my Tombow in the color 055. And all in all, I think it came out pretty good. So next I'm gonna be doing my monthly spread, and as you guys can tell, again, I did go ahead and create it with pencil first because I'm not an artist, but I'm still gonna go ahead and use a marker because I want my lines to still be straight. And I'm using my Fudenosuke pen. It's a nicer, more bolder black pen with a thicker point. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a nice monthly spread. I want to be able to like see the whole month and just kind of have it all there spaced out for me. And I just felt like this was probably the best way to do it. But if I find a better solution later, then maybe I'll change it up. Next I'm going in with a green mild liner just on the corner of the boxes. That's where I'm going to go ahead and put the numbers of the month. And that's just going to help to add a little bit of color and help those numbers really pop. Then I'm going to go ahead and set up a goals section. That'll have all the goals that I want to go ahead and complete this month. And I'm also doing a social tracker. This is where I'll keep track of like my YouTube, my Instagram, and since my blog is hosted on WordPress, I went ahead and did a little WordPress logo as well to kind of keep track of how many blog followers I either gain or hopefully not lose. But we'll see how they are in the beginning of the month, the first day of the month, and the last day of the month. Next, I decided that I wanted to like have a quote of the month every month. So for this one, I chose be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside, which is like basically everywhere. It's all over Pinterest and Instagram, but I just think it's such a cute quote. And it, obviously it goes with my theme. And then I'm going in with my Micron 01 pen, and I'm just gonna kind of like create a little bit of a drop shadow that way the quote is a little teeny bit more like clear and sticks out. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and create my monthly habit trackers. This is probably not very different from others that you've seen across the internet. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in all the different numbers of the month and then I'll just create some lines and write in all the different things that I wanna track. So some of the things that I'm jotting down are getting eight hours of sleep a night, being up by 6.30 a.m., uh, brushing my teeth in the morning, getting to work on time, getting my eight ounces, or I'm sorry, my eight glasses of water a day, no spending, Instagram posts, taking my vitamins, 15 minute clean sessions, social replies, which, you know, just to kind of keep track of me replying to you guys on Instagram and on YouTube, because I try to reply to you guys all the time, doing my Bujo log, um, getting 10,000 steps in a day, 
uh, helping Alicia with her gymnastics every day, whether or not I posted a new video or new blog post, and then at night, of course, brushing my teeth, flossing, putting in my retainer, and going to sleep by 10.30. On the next page, I'm going to go ahead and create a post tracker. So what I wanted to do was to create a system where I could make a list of all the videos or blog posts that I make that month and compare how they do in the first 24 hours versus 30 days later. So that's what that's going to be for. On the next page, I'm going to go ahead and create my weekly spread. Um, I wanted to just not do any dailies and just do a weekly because I feel like it's less time consuming and I still get to see everything that I need to see. So that's why I went this route and you guys will see in a little bit I'll do a different weekly spread for the week after. But anyway what I'm doing right now is um, I created these eight boxes. It's going to have the seven days of the week and then that final box there is going to have a section for me to put things for next week if needed. Um, obviously this time around I am going to go ahead and create a second weekly spread for you guys but in the future that box will be really really helpful because I wouldn't have created that yet. But anyway so I'm going in and I'm putting in the little calendar overview just so I can see like how the rest of the month falls through just at a quick glance there. I'm creating a notes section and I'm creating a meal planning section and a shop section and that's just because that, those are my most pressing items throughout the week is what are we going to eat and what do I need to shop for and then of course the notes is for anything that could possibly pop up and then I just decided to draw another little pineapple there just for extra decor. So far, I think it's looking pretty good. And then I just went ahead and went back to the monthly log and decided to put a little pineapple there. That one doesn't really look like a pineapple, but again, I'm not an artist, so please don't judge me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the days of the week there so I can kind of decide what we're gonna have for dinner each night. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a different weekly spread this time around I thought you know what if I started my weeks on a Monday I'm used to starting on a Sunday all the time all the time all the time all the time but you know you never know maybe like something else will work better so again this is my first spread it's my first layout I'm, I just kind of want to see what works what doesn't work so that's why I went ahead and did that not only that but this is the one Sunday that I'm gonna take to just relax and not do anything, not plan anything, just to kind of get back on track with getting my rest because of our trip. So I figured it was okay to skip that Sunday. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and create my shopping and my meals boxes as well. And just kind of add more color and decor. I decided that I would use my Tombow 055 pen to just kind of add more color keeping with that theme with like the yellows and greens and I'm gonna go ahead and use this as like a backdrop so that the numbers of the month really stick out and I think it's turning out pretty good however I do feel right away like I didn't have as much room in that spread as I did in the other okay guys so that's it for this month's plan with me let me know what you thought of the theme what you thought of my setup if you have any ideas for next month's theme please let me know in the comments below and i'll make sure to show you guys lots of love don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you next time